an extremely important and very relevant point that I, I, I've noticed in your, uh, in your report was uh, the one about uh, references to scholars, but especially to non-scholars individuals in uh, extremist uh, documents and texts. And a very interesting point that I found was that uh, the second most uh, referenced individual in the Salafi Jihadi text is a former U.S. President Barack Obama, while the third one is a former Al Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden. How is this possible? Yeah, that that was a bit of a surprise during our, our analysis, but. Um, perhaps just to say that we used a software package for this research that allowed us to draw out references to individuals. So we scanned across these 3,000 texts and we were able to see who was most referenced. And you know, some of these references are going to be positive, some of them are going to be negative. All I'll say is that in the Salafi Jihadi content, ISIS, Al Qaeda, there weren't many positive references to Barack Obama. Um, but what it did show us was that the individuals that were being referenced in this content were very much contemporary figures, you know, between bin Laden, between, uh, you know, the various presidents of the US, uh, leaders of Islamic countries. These were really the, the figures that dominated in uh, the kind of persons that were present in the text. And when you compare this to other categories of content, you know, the mainstream, uh, looking at the counter narratives, you had a rich source of Islamic scholars in particular. So you had people over the 1400 years of Islam who have interpreted the Quran, uh, who have come up with uh, tafasir, with commentaries on the verses. Uh, and this really was representative of what the mainstream is. It's the people that are being referenced uh, in religious content are very often these scholars. They are very absent from Salafi Jihadi content. And this shouldn't be a surprise because the, um, uh, these groups, Al Qaeda and ISIS, reject scholarship uh, as religious innovation. You know, they, they are Puritans. They want to go back to the source material. They think that the Quran and the Hadith are the main sources of religious knowledge. They reject any uh, what they call religious innovation. Um, and they refer to scholars as the donkeys of knowledge. So I think it's really important that we understand that these groups are tearing down 1,400 years of rich classical uh, Islamic tradition, you know, based out of Baghdad, of Damascus. You know, there's, there's a long history of scholarship that has been completely neglect neglected by these groups and that we need to emphasize in our response is to point to the richness of, of the theology and the ideology of Islam. Uh, and by doing that, we're going to be able to form a really strong counter-narrative to the extremist message.